Well, I enjoyed recording the last episode so much that I decided to come back and record the fourth episode straight after. So let's carry on. <laughs> In the last episode, uh, Bernard, unfortunately, I assume had a heart attack. I'm not really sure what happened there. I don't really know. Having a heart attack is the only really thing I can think that happened. So, yeah. Interesting. And now it's about trying to continue this marriage. <laughs> Which is, um... Going to, I imagine, be filled with many difficulties. I'm too worried. I should have said yes, because I can get my experience up. Because we all play this different character now. Because Eamon is... Uh, it's difficult to... Um... It's difficult to say what Eamon would do, because his, his father's just died, and all of a sudden he's now the Lord. <laughs> so, as an eight-year-old kid or seven-year-old kid when he took over, he's a little bit like, what, what what's going on? What, I'm confused. Um, so his mother's... I imagine why this is sort of taking command as the regent, I suppose. Uh, while his... I imagine regent with his mother. So, why this is in charge... Um... Because, um, because Bernard was his stepson, why this is taking sort of charge with probably my mother, I'd imagine. So, because she, she's also on the council. Um, and obviously my brothers and is still, you know, obviously Alice is looking after the care of my brothers. And myself, of course. And she's training us with the sword. So, um, Eamon's in the, Eamon obviously knows that he, he has been married to this woman that he, Probably hasn't really met. <laughs> um, and as the time go on, Eamon will understand that he, he is married to Jorella to take over the eventual High Lordship of the North Clans. But that obviously won't be in Eamon's lifetime. That'll be in the rule of Eamon's eventual son or daughter. So for this boy, I imagine he's been taken on a lot. Um, uh, food's on my plate, but steam's coming out of it. I wonder if it's safe to eat. Uh, why is a random 56-year-old woman looking at me? I don't know. That's, uh... I'll trust her. Probably not a good idea. Maybe that's the one that's cooking, possibly? I don't know. I'm sure it's fine. And also the fact that uh, Bernard is now... Uh, Eamon is now also in charge... Oh, we go watch that. Eamon's also in charge of Mud Road and... Uh, where is it? The reels. So he's got uh, that on his plate. So the kid's a little like, wait, what's going on? Obviously, some of his uh, brothers have also got cash as well, because it's been divided upon us. And obviously, I imagine right now it's Aya and Wyliss basically controlling everything right now. So the alliances that we set up a minute ago were by about, were probably through Aya and Wyliss being smart and crafty. And anything else that's going on, is basically those two pulling the strings essentially until Eamon, of course, comes to age. Comes of age. What's going on? Uh, why is using his powers were inside to remove Sir Lucamore from his position in your council? Huh, okay. What was he? Spy master. Uh, maybe we didn't trust him. So look, he's better regent side. So he took, who was it? Lucamore. So he wouldn't put him back on the thing now. So I probably put Daffin Fans in charge now. He's the next sort of best candidate, I suppose. Um, are you? I don't think he's gonna actually doing. I don't know, because that's a little risky. So I think he's just gonna be administering holdings. Uh, where's Willis on the council? Is he not on the council? Is he just like right there? I think so. I don't know. Why does mute seem so dramatic? <laughs> it's too dramatic for. Um, a peaceful time. Because we're not really at war with anyone, are we? Nothing's really going on. The Starks aren't at war with anybody. Oh, the Ironborn. As I just said, that the Ironborn have gone to war. Uh, oh. That's interesting. The Hoars is trying to reclaim the... Is that is that Haganath? Who's that? Oh, yes, it is. Hag Hagnea Hoar. 
who does have a son, so there's a strong sort of succession there. She's going for the claim of the Iron Islands, which is interesting. A lot of people have risen with her, so the Greyjoys are the one leading it. Greyjoys, Harlors, Black Tides, Pebbletons, Sealskins. Highs Chief Sigorn of the Upper Frost. What? Wait, why is, <laughs> why is that? Oh, so he's actually helping her, which is odd. Not, actually quite, not quite sure how they get their armies down, but there you go. Aegon's still on the throne. He's 87. Has he got the Immortal trait? Was it because of his health bonus from the Resurrected? But then again, that's not really... I don't know. Maybe he's just immortal, maybe. So Arthur's IV is now on the throne because his aunt got... Oh, she's been killed. Uh, dying battle. Oh, so she died in battle and he inherited it anyway. Oh, okay. Storm King's still doing her thing. Gardener's still rounds. Bladesman, 75. It's Garth Gardener. It's Marito Hewitt. And the Dane woman's in charge. Who will eventually, the Yormans will take over. We do already have a son, so their line's sort of strong there. The Targaryens still hold this. The Isle of Serpents. Aegon is in charge now. Interesting. The Stark Empire is still alive. We've got a old uh, God's of YouTube uprising. Uh, someone's going, going for independence, which I imagine they'll lose. Given the strength of their armies. And another independence war as well. Uh, probably due to the whole war they had a while ago. There's a lot of dragons popping around in Westeros, uh, not Westeros, but in Essos mainly at the moment. Hopefully, Alice will give us some more fighting traits. Shall I? Actually, is she doing it? Oh, yeah. Well, it's this guy. That's, uh, he's doing it. That's oh, no, and uh, as I was saying, just got the train fighter trait as well. Does my brother get the same? Not quite. But yeah, Eamon is who I'm more concerned about right now. That's not all that bothered about anybody else. Yeah, so what I want to go is go for the seduction focus when I become of of age, because we want to be able to seduce Jarrell, because right now she hates me. Uh, for oh wow, she's gonna hate me for the forced marriage thing for years. Although technically, I don't think Jarrell is old enough to really understand, but I think she is that she's been forced into a marriage without her agreement. But I wouldn't say she'd blame Eamon. It's more her, my father, really. But. And she'll the whole title claiming thing, which will probably stick around for a while. But hopefully when we become married, things might hopefully disappear. But I think the forced marriage thing might be around for a while. And unfortunately, we have to deal with that. Uh, Daphne has also been removed. We've got a pine center, why not? So Kurt Mouton will be given the land, given the title now. Uh, let him be. I don't know what the Glenmores are up to. Uh, Robin Woods and Lord Jossat Forrester. Um, slightly shover and engaging combat. The fist duel, Robin prevails. Forcing Lord Jossat willed. Oh, it's a, a husband. <laughs> oh, Daphne had a bastard. Okay. Maybe because of that, he was unfit to take uh, carry on in office, I suppose. What happened to, um... What's the name? Oh, she died. Oh, her son took over. So the Har Harclays are dead? Uh, some of them are still alive. Not many, though. Let's see if I can get him actually in your marriage again just to keep the Harclays alive. Just so they don't die out. <laughs> Or in the Catalyst, what a great name. Yeah. Keep the Harclays alive. In the way. And gets rid of a few uh, useless courtiers. That I don't really need. Because we're already above the courtier that we buy like 20, so. <laughs> Seems the Night's Watch is doing well in this great range in. It is interesting because this whole, uh, everything going north of the wall is going to affect us later on. Like if the Wildlings take over the Night's Watch, their 
uh, be coming for us first because we're literally right in front of them. Yeah, we're carrying watching. I don't see the issue with that. We're now 10 years old. She's beating her husband again. And she's won again. Oh, some Ironborn Raiders are attacking that. Oh, so we grew up with a bunch of people. How long does that trait stay on for? Oh, it stays on for 100 years. Okay, wow. <laughs> it's not a massive, uh, massive opinion bonus, but I'm sure it will help in a way. What's up with the... Oh, dear, I'm the some, someone's wharf or something. Oh, hang on. What's going on here? Oh, Black Tide's just taken this? How did they take that? No idea. Well, Black Tide now owns Case, which is <laughs> strange. Interesting to see if the Hellars get the Iron Irons back and what will happen next. Uh, what would my guy do? He's strong, so he's a capable fighter and he's always been strong most of his life. As, I can't remember the name of the guy, but... <laughs> He said to Captain America once, a strong man knows the value, well, no, a weak man knows the value of strength and all that, but a strong man um, doesn't really know the, that value. He's If he's been strong and gifted for most of his life, then he's not going to be like, oh, let me think of the others. No, if, if be thinking of himself. Uh, and he's also haughty, so he's proud and vain, convinced of their own superiority, which makes sense because he's Lord of Mud Road and knows that eventually he'll be High Lord in some sense. Um, so I think he'd, he'd take it for himself. <laughs> Improved our relations, that's good to see. Should we go to the Blue Hills, egg on them. There we go. We'll go see some stuff going on. Why is the Stark guys that are just dealing with those raiders that will eventually bugger off? And Bastard of Withered Heath. Is the Withered Heath a, um... Hang on a second. One second. Isn't Withered Heath? I'm gonna hang on a minute. I'm pretty sure the Withered Heath. One second, guys. One moment. Aha! It is! The Withered Heath is in Lord of the Rings. It's <laughs> where the Grey Mountains are. It's called the Withered Heath. I remember it's where the dragons apparently came from. Or the fire drakes as in any Lord of the Rings. But yes, it's actually a place in Middle Earth to wither teeth. I, I thought I heard that somewhere. Okay. Yeah, okay. That was uh, interesting. Um, yes, yeah, she's actually pretty good. She's 140. She's a formidable fighter. Brawny. She's got a crow. She doesn't really do anything. Direwolf. Okay. Yeah, cool. Yep. Uh, Feel on the mat's still going. He's fifth. 56, but he's got gone already, so I don't know. I don't imagine he'll be around too long. It really surprised me when Bernard died. Like, I just didn't think he was going to die that soon. I thought he'd at least get to at least 60 something, and then that way he died at 40. Which uh, just shows, goes to show how shit medieval times, well, how long he lived for, no sense. Nice. Yeah, so Wireless and I are really carrying the work that uh, my father set out to do, really. And then, no doubt, been educated and telling that this is too loud. Telling uh, Aemon that he, what he must do, that he eventually must eventually take over the High Lordship, and eventually his family will rule as king someplace. But whether or not Aemon's taking it all in, so I don't know. Oh, well, that's interesting. Uh, while he's using his powers as reason, decided to remove Master Clemson. What's he done? Hmm. I do fear that Wallace is possibly uh, too passionate for the role, and he's taking too many decisions based upon himself and not upon the person he's ruling for. Interesting, though. I guess Alice will take the role. Uh, maybe he thinks she's more capable. Maybe Glennon did something that um, Eamon did not know about. Who knows? Or oh, it's just the AI being stupid. <laughs> so I'm interested to see how that war goes. Uh, Dick and Piper has spent his desire to get married. Oh, uh, yeah, got him. So he's married the Mooton girl. Yeah, that's fine. Oh. 
Uh, so Hosta and... Have we really got much thing for do? Um, she's 12 and she's 20. That's a bit of an age difference that I'm going to decline on. <laughs> Obviously, marriages in those days were, you know, you, you definitely did marry quite young in those days to certain men who are older. It does happen these days, but of course, these days it's a little... It, it, it doesn't really um, happen that much. Unless you live in Africa and the Middle East, where you have a lot of those sort of traditions still carry on. Where young girls are married to older men for odd reasons. But yeah, sadly that does stuff, car stuff does kind of happen. It is wrong, definitely nowadays. Back in the medieval times, it was sort of like, yeah, it's fine, it's cool. It was normal. So was a lot of things in the old days. Um, slavery was normal. Like, it, it, it sounds shit saying it, but slavery is normality. If, if you look at Slaver's Bay in Game of Friends, Slaver's Bay is um, slavery and having slaves and slaves being slaves was normality. It was literally normal for them. Um, who's this? Oh, this is the one I can have a friend. Um, Fussy, Idolizer. I don't know, I feel like um, Eamon's been on his own quite a lot. Yeah, he has his brothers, but um, he doesn't really have a friend that's not his brother. So I feel like um, him having wreaking havoc with a friend would make sense. And why not? Arwood might be able to. Um, we might give him some land there, or who knows. We'll carry on going to these tourneys. I was hoping that my Halas is now in charge. I do wonder if Halas is. Um, I don't know. Do you have a claim on the City of Colbert for some reason? I don't know why we have that. Interesting. Oh, Rodwell's got to be a hundredth birthday. It's like Bilbo. I, I, I'm, I'm wondering if he's got the ring or something. He's like Bilbo Baggins, living for ages, <laughs> looking really good for his age. <laughs> hmm. See, I live hard with no. I don't know what happened, but Rodwell, someone was bound to have him killed. At so he's gonna die of something eventually. Um, I don't know what. I don't know what's gonna happen there. I mean, he might suddenly someone because. With the immortal trait, you can live forever, but if someone kills you, um, you still die. You're not in, you're immortal, not invincible. Which is a which is a cool trait. I did say that I wanted he's removed another guy as well, what's he done that? Okay, he's removed him, that's Maybe he was plotting some sort of something. She will take them on now. But yeah, I probably won't do the whole Forester series straight after, um... There we go. I probably won't, like, make it... Do the Forester series straight after this. Um, because, like, we're already going to be in the North. I don't really want to do a North series as well. So possibly I might do something else. It might be Game of Thrones related. It probably will be with the House of Dragon series. Or it might be something else. There's a lot of other secret team mods I haven't actually played before. So, so I, I may, but we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens. I may have a multiplayer thing going on soon at some point, who knows if Sol um, goes ahead with that, we'll see. Uh, we can go military, martial, which we shall do. Uh, save my brother as well. What's this? I thought Osman would tell the cook that who I, um, it was I who had stolen the cookies and made, made me give the quill back to the spy master. Osman surprised me when he instead asked me how I managed to steal the quill right in the nose of the spy master and wanted my help to get back back at the cook for scolding him. Uh, perfect. Let's have a look at what's going on with the dragons anyway. Yeah, one well, of the uh, falling out of the Targaryen's hands is a bit, which isn't too great. Aegon's now 90. He's got a dragon again. He's got, um, Il Ilithio Ilithinos. Interesting name. Let's have a look at all the dragons and shall we? Now, so that's uh. So Beliran died of a severe maiming, which I. <laughs> silly. But I think lore wise, Beliran got to the age of like 100 and. Uh, 200 something, because he's dead by the events of the House of Dragon. 
We've got Maraxes, who's now Rhaegar's dragon, who's Aegon's son. He's, four, he's got one hand, so that's not good. Oh, in the hand, apparently. Okay. He's got a son who's also got a dragon. I'll look for that in a minute. Uh, Vesteros, which is interesting name. Uh, Aglantine Targaryen, who is Boris, so... Oh, right, so she's... Um, Oris Baratheon slash Oris Targaryen's daughter. So she, she's got that dragon. Uh, Greyfire has got Alex. Okay. Vagar has got Jarman, who is... Oh, he is a Targaryen, yeah. Uh, he's the son of Boris and grandson of Oris. So he's got Vagar, it's quite powerful. Uh, for for Killix, I think he is. It's a bit of a mouthful. Uh, Corlys, is that... Um, that's Oris's son again. So Corlys Targaryen. Um... Exion died, that's a shame. Uh, Eriax is now Lord Magon, who I'm not really sure that is. I, he is a High Valyrian, so he probably just tamed it, because he could. And Lithinios is now Aegon's dragon again, he's got he's got another dragon. Let's give him something to do in his old age. Uh, Gef, Gef, Gefifus? Gefifus? That's a bit of an odd name. Uh, Simeon Targaryen, who is uh, Boros' son again. Okay, interesting. It's always interesting to see what the dragons do. Um, I think I might have to at some point do the House of like a um, Dance of Dragons thing at some point. Who's that? Oh, she's attacking the. Oh, it's his wife is attacking. Okay, <laughs> that's weird. There's her army. There's a peasant revolt. Love it. Who's that against? Oh, is it? Oh. In the gardeners, but why is he up here? Uh, no idea. Slave raid of dawn. Okay. Yeah, more havoc. Yes. Oh. Uh. Okay, the card. Oh. At uh, the meeting of the Regency Council, Edric's position on the council was put in the question. He's a castle. Okay. Uh, call the vote to have him remove the vote which passed everything fired. Interesting. I kind of feel it should be at... Man, again, I don't know. I'm going to take you as center shield then. Or... Hand of the... Or castle I guess it's more... Makes more sense. Give you martial education. My lord, Sir Hosta... Um, is that the soap with dude? I don't know if I can really... I don't, know, I don't know how he oh, wants to go to the set. I don't know how his father would feel about that. But obviously his father doesn't really get a say because he's... Um, it's cruel, greedy. Um, I feel like he'd be advised to say yes because... Um, um, Arya's probably informed... <coughs> Excuse me. Arya's probably informed Eamon that um, the court is already quite over, over the top. Um, I still kind of feel like that people might be moved over to other, to the Rills and North Road, but, or Mud Road rather, but the Mud Road is still sort of the seat of the mud for the time being. Uh, Rills is just an extra castle that now and again the, the uh, muds visit. It's like their holiday destination to go from one part of the north to the other, but yeah, I think because of how many people are in the court, uh, Eamon will be t um, told that it's probably guided to let people go. So I'll let him go. I'm hoping to get my skill and fighting skill back up a little bit more. I'm not. I'm not really looking at these. I'm, I'll be honest. I'm not looking at these tournaments. <laughs> You've been educated by the cast art, dude. What's he flint line looking at? We killed Torin, but that was my an act from Torin. We let uh, Jane li live because I think it was an honourable act. She's, she's done nothing really. Um, it's not fair for her to be executed. She suffered the same fate as her husband. So Harris is now 17. He's got um, a wife and number, and he's got a daughter. So they're, uh, they're in a little line of the Widow's Watch. I do feel it could possibly... It's actually that. There's only three of them left, actually. There's now another line of Flint's left. If you've got the Flint's in the mountains, but I was the last one left there. So when she goes, that's the it. Really. Unless she marries matrilineal to anyone else. So I'm just thinking, should I do that or not? 
Um, I will do that. Doesn't get married. Doesn't really like me very much. But he's zealous as well. Uh, will that marry my commanders? Why not? Maybe that might keep the line of the flints of the mountains going because the flints are kind of like dwindling since flint of the mountains. And the flints of fence finger are still going. They don't hold any titles though. Don't, they've lost their land. Inherited. I don't know how they inherited that. Um, I'm not sure how they inherited it. Maybe it was only a son or something? No, oh, I think it was over here. Yeah, but well, they haven't got many flints left, really. I mean, it's, he's... Oh, he's over in the Kingdom of E.T. now. <laughs> Legend Slave Raids. Hmm. I don't know why there's a, <laughs> there's a peasant revolt but for the Reach, but up here. I find that really odd. <laughs> oh, a pipe has been bought. Oh, no, no. A bastard. Yeah, okay. Luke and more darkness arrived. So yeah, we'll let people... Oh, he's died. He's arrived and died. As Damon Targaryen said. Spoilers, spoilers. Uh, but then again, this will be uploaded probably after the first episode for a while, so we should be fine. Um, as Damon said, <laughs> um, the air for a day or the air for an hour or something, wasn't it? I think it's air for a... I think air for a day or something. <laughs> Which uh, resulted in him getting exiled. <laughs> I'm interested to see how it leads into him invading the step zone, so I want to I want to find out more about that, which I'm quite looking forward to hearing more. Um, hopefully, they explain that a bit more. It'd be cool. Uh, Ronald certainly handled the sword expertly, but when we started fence on Rosie, probably had only read our teacher's treaties. Without even practicing any of the moves, it was easy to sign Ronald and my extended my hand to thank him for the practice. He slapped it aside and named me his rival. Ah, lovely. <laughs> um. We'll definitely come to blows at some point. I will probably have him kicked out of the court when I become of age. Who's that us? Oh, she's married to the Holland, my Castlin, so they're going to get on quite well, I imagine. Uh, and that's afraid. It's very bad they let an afraid take charge of things. What's the worst that could happen, right? Uh, yeah, we're not doing the. We're not actually. I doubt it's ourselves that have actually dishing out who's being educated. It's likely Arya and Willis. He actually, he died a lot earlier than before. He died at like 60 something. But here, he's um, older. I think Willis is trying to get everyone in sort of a martial focus. So when the time comes for more wars, he knows war will come. Um, he's getting everyone ready for when more war will break out. Because there will likely be problems with the North Clan, holding the North Clans and all that. So that's what he's preparing for. And likely Arya is approving heavily. Um, every chance to get a practicing sword fight and often with the older men who find it amusing uh, to see me charge them with all my might. There are two seasons for me to defeat them, but practice makes perfect and one day will be the best. Isn't that right? Oh, who's Alice? Oh, that's my um, tutor. What should prove? Oh. Targaryen's got another dra um, dragon. Cool. It's interesting to see what will happen to the dragon lords. Will they hold New Valyria? Uh, will they hold New Valyria or will they lose it? Um, only time will tell. I think it's... It'd be interesting to see what happens when Aegon dies. Because when Aegon dies... Well, Rhaegar's got the uh, Meraxes, so he might be... Hold on. Oh, it's his... Um, oh, he died. Oh, Aegon died. Oh, he died in the dungeons of his... Oh, he killed his own... Uh, a bit of a fallen out there, I think. Okay. Weird. Um, so that means... Yeah, so... Rhaegar will be the heir, and eventually his son Alex, who also has a dragon called Gravefire. So the Targaryens looked like look like they will have dragons for quite a while. Is any what about his other son? See him have a dragon? No. No. So interesting to see what happens there. You are fed up with always always losing games to the other children. You are faster and cleverer than they are, but whenever you find a way to win, they make make up a new rule against it. And when you play on teams, your team always drags you down. I won't let him hold me back anymore. So he loses a horse and get uh, ruthless. So, which isn't too bad. I mean, not everyone likes us, but our combat skill goes up, so that's good.
No, it's uh, Willis died. I think he might have done. Yeah, he did. Died of severe stress at 72. I mean, he lived a lot longer than he did before, so now my mother's in charge, which makes sense. So, yeah, my mother is now the only one that's really keeping the. keeping the dream of Bernard and, I guess, his. Bernard's. Uh, stepfather alive, really. Because Bernard, I feel as if he. When um, Wireless was over here, um, I feel as if. Um, what's the word? I'm struggling. Wireless uh, was, became quite good friends with Bernard and idolised. Bernard, I am um, dreamt of his plans to eventually see the Muds in charge of um, the kings of the north and eventually the kings will take back the old, old stones and. Become King of Rivers and Hills, which is more uh, something I feel, feel like we can achieve because we don't really have to worry about uh, the Venu Valera. So I doubt they're going to come over and conquer us. If they do, it'll be interesting. Um, but we may have to get out fighting them or find a way to defeat them, but I don't know. We'll say. But dear Legion, I was just approached by Sir Lucamore, Piper, who tried to convince me to join him in this vile heresy. I hope you convince him to see sense. A 14 year old Eamon, as he feels as if he's smart, I will. Engagement in the theological debate. Let's go for that. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. My dear liege, your penetrating gaze can part even the thickest theological fog. I am utterly convinced by your leaned, learned arguments. Rest assured that I will never stray again. Okay, now he's actually become... Yeah. I must say the heavy metal like DLC is just kind of sucks because it's just so it's so like it it's not great. It's loud. It's loud. It's sort of or it sort of takes you out of the feel of a medieval setting with like heavy metal. It's just like no. Uh, what's this? <laughs> Though I had thought my courtier Larence to be a more reasonable man, his request to be allowed to duel his rival John is slightly erratic. Huh. I think Layman's a bit ruthless and he's strong. He likes to see fighting, so I think he would allow the duel. <laughs> I didn't kill each other, that's fine. I'm gonna have to disable this uh, heavy metal, so I'm just not, I do not like it. Take that. To me, it just feels a bit like over the top. I just don't. I can't roll with it, sorry. I'm gonna let um, Eamon get a come of age. Hopefully, he just gets skilled, but I obviously can't really do much about that if he doesn't, because I'm not. I can't force train it myself. It doesn't quite work like that, I'm afraid. Oh, now I can. <laughs> now I can claim the North Clans after all that shit. You know what? I may actually do that. Just like, I, don't know. I feel as if Jarrell isn't gonna get. A lot. I think he will marry her regardless. You know what? I think. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm actually. Gonna, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it. Um, I'll wrap this episode off now. And when we come back, we're gonna we're gonna take back the. Um, we're gonna take it. Right, we're, we're gonna do <laughs> Wait, why can't we do it? What? But we could do it a minute ago. But we could literally just do it. Oh, what's that about? Oh, I just break my. I just see that. Okay. There you go. There you go. We're claiming. Uh, what's this? Hey, uh, I'm not waiting until two years. Uh, maybe my mother may not die, so we might be okay. Right, well, let's just get ourselves educated and we're end the episode off there. Actually, you know what? I'll do is end this here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next part. Farewell.